Having a critical understanding of how banks work and their significance to the overall economy is crucial. When you grasp the role that banks play in your personal finances, you'll be better equipped for the future. The fundamental purpose of a bank is to accept money from savers, allowing them to open savings and checking accounts, and then lend that money out at a higher interest rate to borrowers for purposes like buying homes, cars, or funding businesses, and so on. It sounds quite simple, doesn't it? Well, banking is more complex than that, primarily due to two factors. Firstly, savers have the right to withdraw their money from the bank at any time, but banks still need to maintain sufficient funds. There's an old tale about a man who walked into a bank during the Great Depression and requested his money because he believed the bank was on the verge of collapse. When the bank teller handed him his cash, the man looked at it for a moment and said, Oh no, you can keep it. The teller appeared puzzled and asked the man what was happening. The man responded that if the bank had his money secured, they should hold on to it, but if they didn't have it, he wanted it all back immediately. The key point is that a successful bank relies on the trust and confidence of the general public. If the public believes that a bank is on the brink of failure, everyone rushes to withdraw their funds, ultimately leading to the bank's collapse. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. To prevent such bank failures in modern America, banks are backed by the government. Banks, in their modern form, cannot exist without the government, which serves as their largest depositor, creditor, and the last resort protector if the public loses faith in the bank. The second complicating factor for banks is that they cannot generate sufficient profits to sustain their operations solely by lending the money deposited by savers. Instead, banks borrow funds from the government based on the amount of cash entrusted to them by savers. The banks then utilize these funds from the government to lend to the public alongside the deposited money from savers. While many individuals express dissatisfaction with government involvement in banks, the reality is that virtually all banks worldwide are supported by their respective governments, based on the same two factors we have discussed here. For better or worse, this is simply how the modern banking system operates, both in the US and in most other developed countries.